All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series, where today we are having a look at the Chiapa Rhino Revolver mod, which is being made by user Bloodmeat08, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the real-world Chiapa Rhino Revolver, and this is a pretty awesome little gun mod. Now, it is also a bit of an oddity for me. As you guys know, I just, my personal opinion on gun mods is I tend to prefer weird and wacky over modern realistic weapons, but considering the very sci-fi look of the Chiapa Rhino, I actually think it fits in with this world perfectly. So here we are taking a look. Now what do you get with this weapon? Well, the standard version of it looks simply gorgeous. And will do 56 base damage with 308 ammunition with a firing rate of 6, range of 107, accuracy of 65, and a weight of 8. And does have a decent amount of modifications, not a huge variety, so you're not going to be turning this thing into a, well, basically anything you want, but it does give you good enough options so you can create things like uh, this particular one here, which is sort of a medium range, high powered revolver or go for a more up close and personal melee damage one which is cool and as you can see a lot of good customization options for the colors on these things which is just amazing so uh, how do you get your hands on one of these guns well it's actually pretty simple you'll start to see them in the world at about level 15 on gunners uh, the occasional boss and of course in vendors you can also find them just scattered in the world at Trinity Tower, Gunrunners Plaza, and the Mass Fusion Building. So not too hard to get your hands on one. Now uh, let's go take a look at what modifications we do have for these weapons, which like I said isn't a huge number, but I, I think it's a good number of mods for an initial release. I do hope to see a few more though added as time goes by. So first in the receiver category we have just four options here from the standard on up to the advanced which will bring you to the highest level of damage here as well as an improved firing rate which is always good then in of course the barrel category we have three options a short a hardened and a long barrel which of course will change things like range and accuracy and also add some nice aesthetic looks to the thing I do like how the different barrels do actually show on the gun they look gorgeous now next in grips we have one singular option. This is, I think, one of my saddest categories. I really wish we had a few more things in here, like a comfort grip, a sharpshooter's grip. I think that would be cool. Hopefully, we'll see that in the future. Who knows, though? But for now, we just have the one. Now, next in iron sights, we have three options. You know, iron sights. Ghost sights, which I actually really like on this gun. They look beautiful. And then a reflex sight. Now, again, I'd like to see some more options in here, but these three options, frankly, for the kind of gun this is, I think work out pretty well. Now the next category we have is more of an aesthetic one with the grip materials where you can change the grip from the black color to a white color just to you know, change up the look. Now the next category we have is the barrel attachments where we can either have a new attachment, a laser to help you with sighting in things and add some accuracy, a blade attachment for that up close and personal damage, and then a barrel 8, which improves recoil and hip fire accuracy, which is pretty nice. And then the last two categories are again back over to aesthetics, just to change up the look of the gun. The first is receiver materials, and we can keep it as the sort of standard black, change it to blue, a camouflage, red, tech, floral, floral 2, floral 3, and then floral 3x+. plus. Someone really likes floral patterns, apparently, on this one. And yeah, they just change up the receiver here to a nice new paint job. But that's not all. Up on the front half of the barrel, you can also change that in the uh, hardened barrel materials category here from either metal to wood. Now, you can't really see it on this particular gun very well, but this is the metal barrel. And if we go back to this one... Oh, wait, no, not that one. 
the, this one, yes, the bladed one, that has the wood barrel up there. So rather than that sort of uh, matte metal color, it's a bit more of a brown, which is very nice. And I think goes well with the red color and the fun blade attachment. So that is, of course, all of our different modifications. Some good ones in there to change the gun as well as its aesthetics. So let's take a look at this thing in a practice and let's take some shots. So there we go, a uh, six a shooter revolver using standard in-game revolver animations, as you can see here. Uh, but overall, very good, pretty decent iron sights. Not the greatest in the world, but fully functional. Now my one big problem I have with this gun is the firing rate. I've actually shot one of these revolvers in real life, and they're a really, really fast firing revolver a lot faster than what it is here in the game. I, I don't remember the actual like full on stats, but I think you can fire all six bullets in the real Chiapa in like one or two seconds. Whereas this one, it's basically almost a second per shot-ish. So uh, that, that's one issue I have with the gun, but that'd be something you wouldn't really know unless you'd actually had fired this thing, and it's just by complete random chance that I have uh, several years ago. And uh, overall, though, very, very cool revolver. Now let's take a look at the other two here, because I have the reflex sight on uh, this one, just so you can see that sight rather than the iron sights. Still uh, roughly the same firing rate, a little bit quicker with the receiver that I have on this one, uh, but overall still pretty much the same. And then we have that really cool ghost sight on this one, which is kind of a mix between iron sights and a hollow sight, and I love it. And with the uh, red color here, and of course the blade for bash damage, I think it's really cool. So let's go and of course take some shots at our friends over here for weapon testing. Poor Randy and Will and their very, very painful job that they have for us. So let's uh, actually go for the longer range one for this one, 98 damage and plus with the really good zoom in on that, uh, the reflex sight and goodbye Will. Oh, almost taken down. Oh, missed on that one. Let's see, and that, no, God, I missed again. So one shot took him mostly down, and I couldn't hit him with the others. Where did he run to? <laughs> oh, if only I was a better shot. But you did see the damage. It took him pretty, pretty far down. Now, had I got a better shot on his head, we probably could have gotten him in one go. So let's switch up to the uh, tactical powerful. A little bit less damage, but I do like the blade here, so we can take a swing at that. Nope, he's back somewhere. There he is, and... Ah, he, he stopped moving. There we go, finally. And now time to take down Randy the Radstag, who ran away? Oh, apparently yes, Randy ran away. <laughs> I guess the gunshot's in his general uh, direction. Oh, no, there he is, hi Randy! And he's down. <laughs> Oh, poor Randy. But yes, that is the Chiapa Rhino Revolver. A very cool gun that is a pretty amazing and awesome real-world revolver brought into the Commonwealth that I think fits in very, very nicely. But that is going to be it for today, folks. Uh, if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But that's going to be it for today. Day. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.